I was born and raised in a small town in Poland called Pszczytyk. It was a, it was a nice life. It was in a small town, and uh, I was there till I was about nine, almost nine years old when the Germans came. I was terrified, and they came with a truck and herded us all into a truck to take us to another town, to a ghetto. And we stayed in the ghetto for several months, and then the Germans came, took my grandparents to the gas chambers, and my parents and me, they took to a, to a work camp, which was a, uh, a factory where they produced gunpowder. And my mother died in an explosion over there. And after that, my father and I wound up in Auschwitz. When I came to Auschwitz, I was tattooed with a number called B-21. And on my left breast, there was B-21 and a little star of David. Killings and hanging were uh, an everyday thing. Just about everybody was sick, malnourished, they didn't feed you, and they had a bunch of capos. Capo is a prisoner who was getting extra rations and special treatment. So uh, they, would, uh, they would lord it over the regular prisoners. Usually those were the bigger guys, and some of them were worse than the guards. In order to survive, you had to do a bunch of bad things. Like, think of yourself first, and don't be, don't be afraid to kick somebody in the head if, it, if it'll uh, be to your advantage. And when there was nothing to do, and they just wanted to keep you around, they would have a group of prisoners lined up, and uh, they would, they would, each one would have to take a stone a great big rock and carry it about 100 or 200 yards and drop it over there and walk back. And another group of uh, prisoners would take the same uh, rocks and bring them back to the original place. The reason I survived probably is because I, in the German papers I was listed as my father's helper. My father was an engineer and a highly skilled mechanic. We were, toge we were together all the time until he died. I was liberated on May the 2nd, 1945. The guards started getting into trucks and leaving the camp. And uh, as they were leaving and running away, we broke into the uh, armory and got uh, rifles and guns, and we started chasing them. And uh, w we saw a jeep with four Americans and an American flag drive up to the camp. And when they were about 100 yards away, we started running towards them and uh, uh, telling them how happy we were. They saw a bunch of wild people running with guns and they turned around and took off and ran away. And they, they came back about 30 minutes later in a tank, just to be sure that we can't hurt them or that we, they don't have to shoot any of us. And the Americans treated me super. After the liberation, I decided I wanted to go back to Poland to see if any of my family has survived and I found one survivor, my aunt, my mother's, my mother's younger sister survived. I came to this country in 1948. 